from Force 13 Australia and Oceania, we bring you the latest on a Tonga eruption. Hunga Hunga Tonga volcano located to the southeast of Fiji has erupted with possibly a VEI-5 equivalent eruption uh, today. It's already done one recently, but it looks like this one is definitely the more powerful out of both of them. Over 86,000 lightning strikes have been discharged, and you'll see some of those in the footage that we'll show in the video from later on. But right now, let's just dive into the information. Well, the volcano has erupted with quite the force. You can see right now there are many cubic kilometers of ash being flung into the higher atmosphere by the storm. This is a video of the actual eruption taking place from a boat about two nautical miles from the uh, location, the epicenter of the volcano. There are tsunami warnings out in effect. You can see a lot of that ash is making its way into the water, which will result in displaced water, which could then result in a tsunami. We'll get into the latest on that in about a minute's time. But let's just appreciate how uh, massive this eruption is and certainly does have the potential to have an effect on the global clim climate, at least in the next month. And uh, to note, the shockwave from this volcano will circle the Earth, um, but it has just passed over New Caledonia. We've got news of that, and it does look like smashed windows are pretty frequently found across Tonga and into Fiji as well. So it's definitely a very powerful eruption, and you can see that in the dry lightning strikes, which you just seen uh, with the eruption just there. Here is a look at the latest satellite imagery of it. You can see just how fast this eruption blew out of practically nothing just north of the Tonga capital. Um, in a fairly open patch of ocean, that is for sure. You can see it just absolutely blasted from nowhere. And considering that we have gone live on the Force 13 Australia channel, uh, David running the live stream right now, you might be able to catch him live over there. Go over there and ask him a couple of questions on how the volcano is going, or go and watch the stream if you, are, if you haven't already. Uh, so a little bit of backstory about the Hunga Hunga uh, Tonga volcano. The island that it is on is uninhabited, thankfully, otherwise it would be a pretty much total loss of life for sure. It's a fairly small island of around 20 square kilometres. I imagine about half of that has just been blasted into the upper str uh, stratosphere, and it has had a history of eruption, some of them violent recently. You can see on the water vapour satellite imagery just how much moisture was blasted from the lower atmosphere up into the upper atmosphere, um, penetrating into the upper tropopause which is pretty much pushing on at the border of space itself. Um, possibly some of this ash has been ejected up to uh, 60, maybe even more than 60,000 feet into the atmosphere. Very, very high indeed. And you can see those shockwave blasts um, penetrating around and uh, into Fiji as well, around the islands from the Hunga uh, Tonga volcano. So currently we have a tsunami warning uh, in place for American Samoa. Sea level fluctuations that are generally no more than three feet above or below the highest tide level. We could be expecting a minor flooding of beach and harbour areas. And stronger um, ocean currents are expected in harbours, bays and near other shore waters. The hazard will begin at 6.48pm SST on Friday, January 14. And it will persist for many hours and possibly longer. You can see on another um, uh, band of IR satellite imagery, the Veggie Band, uh, you can see that the cloud tops here, or the um, eruption uh, ash cloud itself, has extended many uh, thousands of meters into the upper atmosphere of the planet and is continuing to rise as we speak as well with the shockwave spreading further and further out. It's a couple of hours out from New Zealand at this time. Just to give you a sense of power, here is some of the dry lightning that we have been capturing from this uh, volcano. Let's just look at another um, band of IR satellite imagery. You can see it's really just been blasting um, some very decent uh, tall convection into the upper atmosphere. You can see on the visible band right now looking very, very decent on that. That is quite a photogenic eruption. Nice crinkles in there as well. Gives us a little bit of depth. And then on the water vapor imagery, you can see it was just uh, this. The amount of rock and ash that was ejected into the upper atmosphere is fairly hard to comprehend. Uh, yeah, to put it nicely, and you can see the cloud tops have reached a temperature of around minus 90, for a br not minus 90 degrees Celsius for a brief period of time, which is comparative to incredibly intense thunderstorms. If you are in Tonga, you can expect raining ash for the next couple of hours and days. Stay safe out there. If you are around the island, prepare for um, darkness for a couple of days because there is fairly minimal upper level winds. But that is the latest from Force 13 Australia. Subscribe and leave a like to stay on top of this situation. Goodbye from us.